Now you've probably heard the phrase, there are levels to this before. That is especially relevant for arm wrestling. Level 1. This is our starting point. The completely average guy in the streets. He doesn't train, maybe goes for a jog once a week and has never arm wrestled. Two levels above, there is the gym or calisthenics guy. He will beat our first guy with ease. He maybe won't even feel him much, despite not having good technique either. The difference in base strength is too much. At level 5 I've got the good genetics construction worker who's been doing hard physical labor for 10 plus years. From my experience, these guys can be quite tough to beat and aren't impressed by most gym guys they face on the table. This is also the level of most casual arm wrestlers who have good technique and are pretty strong but aren't that serious about the sport yet. One step above those is where I would put the very best female arm wrestler of the world. I've sparred with the number one ranked girl a few weeks ago and she's of course very tough. She'd beat almost every untrained man and even a good portion of smaller trained arm wrestlers. Level 8 is where I come in. I've been arm wrestling for around 3 years now, got my first national champion title last year. Admittedly not in the most competitive lineup, but I'm starting to become pretty good at this. There are quite a few levels in between me and the next guy, but let's make a bit of a bigger jump now. My best guess would be 3 levels. Our number one guy in Austria. This guy will make you question if arm wrestling is even the right sport for you. He'll make you believe that going back to playing Minecraft is the smarter move. Every time I faced him there was just nothing I could do, couldn't even move him an inch or even keep my elbow down. It feels like a human versus a dinosaur at this point, he seems unreachable. Now this is where it really gets insane. In comes young Slenderman Hermes Gasparini. So this is him versus our aforementioned best guy in the country. No need for explaining, just look at this clip. Two levels above that would be where you could comfortably win the open weight division of international tournaments without much trouble, as long as there isn't another superstar present. A current day Matt Mask comes to mind. Level 16. A lot of guys belong here. Sandris, John Brzezink, Jordan Zonev, Irakli, Todd Hutchings, Onga Bayev. All of these guys could win or lose to each other in my opinion. There's one standout athlete though, who is quite a bit stronger than the rest of the previous group I believe. His name is of course Evgeny Prudnik. Devin Larratt had a much harder time beating Prudnik than he did beating Sanders Shadis. Evgeny also got a win on Artyom Morozov a while back. He's the very best guy under 115 kilograms as long as Devin Larratt doesn't show up. The lower tier super heavies. This is where arm wrestlers like Dmitry Silaev, Alex Kodetscha and Revas Lutice reside. They will with very little exceptions only lose to the top 10 arm wrestlers in the world and will destroy the entire rest of the human population. The higher tier super heavies. This is the level of the top 10 arm wrestlers in the world. Dave Chafee, Vitali Laletin, Artyom Morozov, Jerry Cadoret, Gennady Kvikvinja, a healthy Saur Paisolaev, Denis Ziblenkov and Devin Larratt have their place here in no particular order. These names could all very well win or lose to each other. A proper ranking isn't possible at this point. But we aren't done yet. One level above all of these guys is the post pastor Hermes Gasparini. Remember how strong he was as a normal skinny looking guy in his early 20s? Imagine him adding like 70 pounds of muscle and years of experience and training. We get the heavy favorite against anyone out of the top 10 today. But there is one last level. The ultimate arm wrestler Levan Saginashvili 
the Georgian Mutant weighing in at 190 kg, with hands twice the size of yours and arms double the size of your legs. He's indisputably the strongest human being at arm wrestling ever and will destroy anyone in the top 10. But there is a reason why Hermes is number 2. He showed that even Levan isn't invincible. <laughs>